trying to take a decent picture with these notebooks. But at the same time, trying not to cover the beautiful designs. Sounds like these when I wish I was like an octopus. Hi! Hello! Hey guys! Hey, welcome back to my channel and I've got another video that no one has asked for. And today I'm going to be unboxing my latest Archer and Olive haul. A little design team check-in. So in case you don't know, I have been accepted as a design team member last October and you can watch my application video. So I also did an unboxing on our design team welcome packs. And being in the design team has been an amazing experience. I love all of the other design team members. We get along so well and it's just so fun. So as design team members, we actually get to contribute content to the Archer and Olive blogs. So we are tasked to do blogs every month. Doing blogs is very, very new to me and it can be really challenging at times, especially when you don't have a topic to blog about. So if you want to learn something that is either bullet journaling related or craft related, you can let let me know in the comments if anyone is watching this. And another perk of being in the design team is that we get gifted Archer and Olive products. <laughs> I basically have like hundreds, not really hundreds, I'm exaggerating. I have like a lot of Archer and Olive notebooks which I really don't know what to use for. What about you? What do you use your notebooks for? Also every month we get like a gift voucher we can spend on the Archer and Olive online store and we can get stuff and this is what I got. So I got my handy dandy cutter and I hope I don't stab myself in the process of making this video. So I have bought a total of 8 items. One is a notepad and 7 of which are notebooks. So I've always, always, always used A5 and now I want to try bigger notebooks. So Archer and Olive also have dark grid pads. So they're basically notepads but very pretty. So the thing about me and pretty things is that sometimes I feel bad for using them. I feel like I should use these pretty things for something like legit and not just like swatching stuff. I used to swatch my pens on scrap paper. So my head to scale. So this is the B5 size notepad. Very pretty. So the previous month, I got myself the rainbow notepads, which I haven't used because I feel I feel guilty about ruining it. So it's just like unused. Maybe until the day I die or the end of the world, whichever comes first. Look at that. Look at that. So anyway, I will be using this to swatch acrylograph pens, but it's still pretty. I would say sketching out stuff, but I would still probably use scrap paper for that. I don't know. I'm still trying to get used to using pretty things for every day. Next. So the notebooks are actually all A5 size. I don't know what to use them for, but I got them. If they're gifted to you, just take them and say thank you. So I got a vintage B A5 notebook. This is the white dot grid pages. I like butterfly and bee and moth design, but they scare me in real life. Up next is a blackout notebook. So I've used a blackout notebook in the past, and the thing about blackout notebooks is that obviously you have to have pens that would work on black paper, otherwise. Girl, you can't use a black pen on a blackout notebook. The thing about blackout Archer and Olive notebooks is that you can use paint like gouache and acrylograph pens. So the acrylograph pens come in a variety of color palettes which look really 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 amazing on white and black and also craft but white and black. So I have been eyeing this notebook ever since I saw it ages ago. It has a holographic rainbow and I love everything holographic and rainbows and it has like silver gilded silver gilded pages Girl. The next one is a pastel Oh! I can't even describe it properly So it has like really nice beautiful gold flowers on a peachy fall leather. I don't even know what to use this for but I want them all. I want them all. They're like Pokemons. I'm ready for the next one because I'm not. 
Okay, so I mentioned earlier that I have tried a Neapolitan notebook. So a Neapolitan notebook has black, white, and craft paper, which is amazing to try different types of pens, different art mediums. And having a Neapolitan notebook was actually a really good creative motivator. Is that a word? Because it felt like a challenge working with you know white paper and then black paper the next and then craft paper and it was just really exciting to think of like different themes. What the good color of this? Take a look at this. I already actually have this notebook but white dotted pages and it has like gold edges but I'm currently using this as my Archer and Olive vlog demo notebook I know I know I know I didn't want to do that but I didn't have any other notebooks aside from like my actual journal but anyway so I've got the same morning flowers design but Neapolitan again black white and craft pages and I've got another pastel colored notebook so you've got like the sun and the moon and some stars on top of a hand. I like the soft pastel colors. And of course, I don't know about you guys, but I love the 2021 holiday notebooks. I already have the red one, which is this beautiful glittery shimmery red notebook with gold foil design. And the material is cloth and it's got gold gilded pages. And one of the winter designs blue shimmery notebook it's so pretty and it has like a silver snowflake in the middle and it has silver gilded pages i feel like my mom would love this so i would love to give this to her and of course last but not least third winter 2021 collection notebook the third notebook has a white glittery cover and it has like a silver coffee cup I'm, I'm gonna say this is a coffee cup okay oops more looking at all three of the holiday notebooks my favorite one is the red one but sometimes I like the white one and sometimes I like the blue so it's really hard to pick So these are the notebooks I got from my recent Archer and Olive notebook haul. I'm gonna let go now because my hands are cramping. Oh, and um, just reminding everyone that Archer and Olive is going to retire our old notebook designs. It's very sad, I know, because there's a lot of like classic designs that are my favorite, which are basically gonna be sold until and we won't be producing anymore which is sad because they're all beautiful but then again i am very excited for all of the designs to come these books are very heavy arm day today but as someone who's been using archer and olive journals for the past few years it's just an exciting thing to see what they have in store for us so yeah what notebook are you using at the moment let me know in the comments below and I am an Archer and Olive affiliate. Please feel free to use my affiliate code ICStudio10 upon checkout at the Archer and Olive website through the link below and get a discount on your bullet journal goodies, especially the notebooks. So if you've made it this far, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you for bearing with me and I'll see you guys in the next video.